okay go do an oil change on this 2005 VW new beetle all right let's do it okay first we got to pop the hood so you open the door you reach forward it's hiding right there boom okay now you got to pull this little lever that shows up Ta -da. Okay, what we're going to do is drain the oil from underneath and then we'll refill it right there. Okay, so we're going to come under from the front and the oil plug is right there. Okay, your oil filter is located down in there but you'll reach from below to disconnect it uh, we're actually going to leave it this time because we put on an extra long duty one last time so we're going to skip around okay here we are going underneath we've got our oil pan positioned gonna use a 19 millimeter socket we're doing this without jack stands or ramps even so it is doable and there we go ready for a refill here here comes the fountain, oh yeah, fountain of coal. Okay, now we let that sit for a few minutes, draining. Set this somewhere safe so it doesn't get full of gravel. And then up top we're going to take off the cap so it can drain better. Gonna crack that open, but First, you can lubricate things. You can lubricate the windshield. You can lubricate the headlights. Yeah. Okay. Look how shiny it makes it. All right, here we are. We just loosen our cap here. There we go. Let the air in. See how good it's draining. Down to a trickle. Okay, while it's draining, let's just look at our oil dipstick here. How many of you have a special dipstick like that? Yep. Okay, I call that good enough there. Just a little bit of drippies. So let's go ahead and put the cap plug the plug back on here. Find where we put it. There it is. We just thread that in without dropping it in our oil. And we just snug that thing up. That's the good stuff for your pancakes. Right. We got our juice for our pancakes. Now we can leave. Oh, no? No, we got to put that in, don't we? I suppose we gotta use the money. Can't just get our pancake juice for free. All right, time to add the oil now. So we're gonna use some 5W30. Um, so both options, either 5W40 or 5W30. Uh, it's almost winter here. It's August, but yeah, it's only like 58 degrees out. Yeah, it's Wisconsin, that's what happens. So we're going to put in some 5W30, um, it says like 4.4 quarts, so we're going to put in just shy of 4 quarts since we didn't change the oil filter and then we'll check it. Okay, we just stick our funnel down that opening there. Okay, here we go, adding the oil, dump it in, looks just like that stuff we took out, I don't know why we took out the oil, should have just kept it in. 
And we're just taking it out to put it back in. Yummy, yummy. All right, we've got three in, but we're gonna check check the oil just to see see where we're at to begin with here. So, gotta wipe it off, and then we restick it in and see where it says. Looking pretty good actually. Okay, there we are. Looking pretty good. That's all it takes. Unless you're going to replace the oil filter, then before you fill it back up, you swap your oil filter. But nice and easy. Only took about maybe 15 minutes. Yeah.